Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to e-learning platform of uh, uh, Department of Collegiate Education. Uh, you may remember in the previous class, so that is in the session number one, we uh, had a look at the contents of uh, your syllabus, that is third semester traditional English syllabus. Uh, in the syllabus, you have uh, four one-act plays. Before we go to uh, the plays and the uh, reading of it, let us try to understand uh, what is uh, an one-act play. And uh, we should also understand what is uh, uh, a play. First of all, we should understand what is a play and then uh, what do we call one-act play and then uh, what is historical play uh, since you have uh, a historical play that is the first play helena's husband uh, therefore we shall also study what is a historical play in this session i am going to uh, talk about three topics that is play as a literary genre and types of plays and then the second one uh, the genre of one act plays and the third one historical play or comedy so first let us take up uh, the first uh, topic that is what is a play or drama or uh, play or drama as a literary genre and types of plays so if you remember in the previous class we had a glimpse of uh, your syllabus now let's go on uh, so, this is some basic information uh, on what is a play or drama. Play or uh, drama is a, is a stage art, it is to be performed on the stage. And the dialogues are the integral part of uh, any play or drama. Uh, a, pla a play or drama is meant to be performed or read. Most probably, it is uh, meant for the performance on the stage. Uh, but besides uh, the performance, it also can be read. Let's have a look at uh, some definition of uh, what is a play or uh, drama. A play is a literary form of writing for theatre. So that is uh, uh, something special which says a drama is written for the theater performance which narrates a story with elements of conflicts, tensions and actions through dialogues of characters. So what is important in a drama is that it is uh, performed on the stage. Uh, there are uh, several uh, parts of the play like conflicts, tensions and resolutions which is performed through, shown through actions of, and dialogues of the character. And for the dramatic significance, a play or drama is di uh, divided into acts and scenes. In classical form of uh, drama, uh, there, were the, there are five acts and uh, any number of scenes. So, as uh, a story or a novel is divided into sections or uh, chapters or units, a drama is divided into acts and scenes. So through a drama, a writer tries to uh, present uh, the feelings, emotions and ideas, especially ideas through their characters and make them speak. So this is uh, uh, about what is a play or drama. Now let's have a look at the types of plays. Uh, see, firstly, tragedy. Uh, these types of plays end on a tragic note. In the sense, a tragedy is that which ends with the death of a character or something bad happening at the end of the play or death of a character or some characters. So that we call a tragedy. Then what is a comedy? Comedy is uh, meant for entertainment, humor and amusement for the audience. They usually end uh, 
on a happy note. Like that of Shakespeare's comedies, uh, some comedies end on the note of uh, marriages. So now let's consider the third one, domestic play. Domestic play is based on the, the normal life of family and friends. A mixture of tragedy and comedy uh, is called tragic comedy. A comedy that has tragic elements but ends happily, ends on a happy note. We call it tragic comedy. So in the later uh, uh, times, we also have this genre, a type of drama called melodrama. This type of uh, drama has often uh, exaggerated characters. Uh, it has often exaggerated characters and episodes with songs and music for an emotive appeal to the audiences. So this is all about uh, types of plays. So in a play we have various elements like plot uh, which, is, which tells us about the sequence or the order of the events in a play. There are characters uh, and their dialogues uh, uh, very importantly and then there is setting which tells about uh, where you, uh, the time and the place of a story which is said and there is conflict where there are one challenge or some challenges faced by main characters and finally there is climax in which there is a resolution a solution for the problem that is discussed so now let us understand try to understand the definition of a tragedy by uh, Aristotle. Tragedy, according to Aristotle, is an imitation of action which is serious, complete and of a certain magnitude, told in a language that is embellished with artistic ornaments and uh, there are several parts of the play and the tragedy or drama that is uh, uh, expressed in the form of action, not narration. And finally, the effect of this uh, tragedy is that it will uh, arouse pity and fear, finally concluding in the purgation of uh, these emotions. So this is the uh, definition of uh, tragedy given by Aristotle. So in this uh, uh, first uh, topic, we have uh, tried to understand what is a play or a drama, different types of plays, then uh, elements of a play or a drama and we also uh, discussed Aristotle's uh, definition of tragedy. Now uh, let us go to, okay. uh, with this uh, uh, please try to check your comprehension by going through these uh, multiple choice questions. Uh, with this let us move on to the second topic that is uh, the genre of uh, one act plays. Let us try to understand what is uh, a and one act play. So in the in this part of uh, our discussion let us consider one act play as a genre. What is an one act play? We shall try to understand. Uh, we also uh, shall uh, discuss some of the prominent uh, uh, one act play writers in this part of the video. So, one act play is a play that has only one act. Yes, I have told you already. Uh, classical uh, form of drama had five acts and uh, uh, number of scenes. But one act is limited to just one act, not five or two or three acts. It has only one act but uh, may consist of one or more scenes. Uh, it is concise, short. It deals with a single uh, dominant situation or uh, theme producing uh, a single effect. Uh, it 
deals with uh, only one theme developed through one situation to one climax in order to produce the maximum effect. It also treats uh, everyday problem. Uh, for example, marriage, punishment of crimes, labor conditions, etc. etc. Uh, this one act play, like the longer drama, should have a beginning. It is short, but it has all the elements like beginning, the middle, and the end. Or uh, to understand it in a different way, the exposition of the idea or the problem, then conflict and the climax. Uh, in one act place, so the plot and languages are simple, characters are limited, and uh, there is no full development of characters. So, this is how we can understand uh, what is an one act play. Now, look at uh, this list of famous one act play writers and their famous plays, one act plays. So Anton Chekhov uh, is a Russian uh, short story writer whose uh, play A Marriage Proposal is a famous one. In the same way, Arthur Miller's A Memory of Two Mondays, then Samuel Beckett's Crap's Last Tape, Edward Albee has written The Goat or Uye Sylvia. Then Eugene Enesco's The Lesson Barold Brecht's Driving Out a Devil, Tennessee Williams' Thank You Kind Spirit, J.M. Singer's Riders to the Sea, very famous uh, one act play, very popular. Then uh, uh, Philip Moyler's Helena's Husband, that which you have in your syllabus for the third semester. Then A Sunny Morning by Seraphin and Alvarez Quinter. Uh, Munro's The Death Trap and Margaret Wood's The Day of Atonement. Uh, th these writers are uh, from uh, elsewhere, that is abroad. Now let's have a look at uh, Indian one act play writers and their plays. So, a classical writer, ancient writer, uh, Basa, has written Madhyama Vayoga or the Vayoga of the Middle One. Bharathendu Arishchandra has written Vedic Violence is Not Violence. Manmata Ray has written Call for Freedom uh, in modern times, that's in the 20th century. So, we also have a, uh, another famous uh, modern one act play writer, Badal Sarkar, who has written Solution X and Shani Va. Vijay Tendulkar uh, has written this one act play titled His Fifth Woman. So, in this class, we have uh, uh, discussed these points that is, one act play as a different form, then uh, what, what do we or how do we call it one act play, and we also have uh, discussed some prominent one act play writers and their famous plays. Uh, so, let us discuss historical uh, play or comedy in the next uh, session. Thank you. Uh, go through uh, these uh, MCQs to check your comprehension. Thank you.